I don't know if you're anything like me, but I like to think I'm one of a kind. <laughs> that feels kind of weird to say out loud, but I like to think that my gifts and my strengths and my impact on this world are unique to me and different from everybody else. But then this thing also happens where when I'm different from other people, it creates this pain point because it's hard for us to understand each other. Do you ever meet someone and you go, goodness gracious, you are a different species than me. How are we both called humans? Daily Dosers, my name is Amber Hoffland. I'm the Vista Communications Coordinator. And today I wanna to take a look at the very first and most important thing that scripture tells us after it tells us we're gonna be different from each other. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, Paul is telling the church about the spiritual gifts. And he tells them, some of you are gonna have this gift, some of you are gonna have this gift. They're all different but they're the same spirit. And then he tells them this in verse 12. For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. I think if I was talking about the gifts, I would probably say something like, use your gift wisely. Use it to glorify God and not yourself. Don't let it go to your head. But the very first and most important thing scripture wants us to know after it tells us there are these gifts is you are one of many and you need each other. He's gonna go on to tell them uh, that love is more important than all of the gifts and he'll give them specific instructions on how to use them. But the very first thing he tells them is you are one of many and you need each other. See, it's like a body. I love my hands. They help me hold things, they help me write, they help me play guitar and do lots of things that I love. But you know what I need to use my hands? Elbows. Like, can you imagine if we didn't have elbows, we just had to use our hands down at our side or straight out in front of us? My hands become incredibly less useful without elbows. <laughs> Even the most useful body part is useless without the body that it's attached to. And even the most useful gift is useless without the body of Christ. The body of Christ knows my gift is better with your gift. My hand is a better hand with your elbow, and your elbow is a better elbow with my hand. Sometimes I think we do this thing subconsciously, where we go, you're different than me, therefore you're hard for me to understand, therefore I don't like that. And we're missing out on being the fullest version of ourselves because we're trying to be a hand without an elbow. And on top of that, we're keeping the other person from being the fullest version of themselves because they're missing a part of the body that makes them better too. And can I tell you, when we prevent someone from using or developing their gifts to the fullest abilities, we're actually doing what the enemy wants. It is the work of the devil to keep a Christ follower from using or developing their gifts or fulfilling their God-given purpose. God's work is the kind that says, we do this together. We make each other better. You be the best hand that you can be, and I'll be the best elbow that's ever spotted your high fives. So here's my challenge for us. Go find your elbow. What do I mean by that? <laughs> if you are a loud person, go listen to a quiet person. If you're a serious person, go hang out with a fun person. If you're someone who really likes to tell stories, maybe team up with someone who has wise sayings on how the world works, hypothetically. <laughs> Whatever it looks like, go find your elbow. If you are a part of this body, there is a body that you attach to. It's gonna make you better, you're gonna make it better, and it needs you as much as you need it. Because we are one of many and we need each other. Thanks, dosers. <laughs>